my last video, I was looking at AI programs to create artwork images that we can use in our projection mapping projects. This video, we're going to look at a different AI program that can help us to do some quick, easy animation. So I've got a pretty good collection started here of different uh, pieces of art that I can use for projection mapping. And, and most of these are removed the background so that you can just drag them onto the canvas and position them and be good to go. I'm at like 187 and growing of uh, different assets. Um, some that are kind of core pieces and characters, but others that are just kind of tangential that we all need for our projects like vines and trees and things like that. So I'm, I'm building this out. Now the next step is what kind of cool animations can I, can I do with these? And uh, my, my first stab at that is actually another video that I uploaded with this Cheshire Cat with some simple animation. Uh, but then I have some with this butler and then this bride, wherever she is in here. And so what I did is I created these in, in Mid Journey. And then there's a, another AI tool out there called D-ID. I wish it was a better name, but <laughs> this tool, I think it's mainly used for like corporate presentations and trainings. Like you can sign up for this and have this digital avatar that takes you to the, the corporate training instead of hiring someone to actually do it for you. Um, so we can use it for something cooler and spookier. <laughs> and the process is pretty easy. Um, you upload the picture and you give it some, some text that you want it to, to use. And then it will automatically figure out how to do the animation. It's a little bit of a black box. Like there aren't a lot of levers that you can pull to, to make sure that it's working as desired. It's just going to, to do its best job. And so far it's doing pretty good. Thank you and welcome to. So uh, let me show you kind of how the process works. Uh, once you're in here and sign up, then you go to create video. These are the talking heads that you can choose from or you can upload your own. So if we wanted to add our own, let me go to my mid journey folder here and let's find one. It's not perfect with detecting faces. So let's see if it'll actually work while I'm recording. How about it? Should we try it? Let's have him be our corporate trainer for the day. <laughs> oh yeah, that one didn't work. So let me try a different one. This is where the lack of levers is kind of a bummer though, because then you can't adjust it to find the face. No, it doesn't like that one either. So you might have to, to find one that, uh, that it recognizes with a little trial and error. Um, the, what the process will look like though, once you have one uploaded is you'll have the picture here and this is where you can type what script you want it to say. And it has a selection of different voices that you can choose from of different styles. Most of these are not very Halloween friendly, <laughs> but like you can see how this one sounds. Hey, y'all. <laughs> so we can do it this way, but probably what's going to be better is if you upload your own. And there's some other AI programs to do the voice work. Uh, you can even do celebrity impersonations. And so I'm, I'm probably going to do that in a subsequent video. I haven't played with it yet. Or you can just upload your, your own audio. And then all you have to do after that is click generate the video. And so that's what this one is. Like to join our your Hong Mansion uh, audio. Pretty cool. And then this one I did, I had, a, I had a project audio file from a project I did last year. And welcome to Lang Manor. Please keep an eye out for our neighbor's driveways as our ghosts have been. There you go. And then you can just download the video. Uh, you can use another AI program like runwayml.com if you want to remove the background. And then, then you're off and running. So uh, there will be, this will be the first of a bunch of AI videos I think I'm going to do. I'm going to try to do one a week as I'm learning. And as I go, then I'll just share with you what I'm learning. And as I'm building and creating assets, these are also going to be available. Well, they are available now on our, our Patreon subscribers. So here soon we'll have over 200 
AI assets that are projection mapping friendly that you can drag onto your canvas in your project and start creating some cool stuff for your show.